One more question. Go ahead. If you allow me. No problem. I'll ask you all the questions you want. Go ahead. You know, uh, Torah. Yeah. God's people are Israeli people, right? Well, it depends what you mean by God's people, but go ahead. The God rescued them from Egypt. Sure. God, Allah, Allah blessed them. Correct. Allah sent a lot of prophets Correct. amongst them. Yes. Correct. But in Islam, we don't have this idea of that one race is better than the other, right? No, no. Allah sent prophets to every nation, Correct. right? But he favored Ben Israel yes. with a lot of favors. Yes. Yeah. My question is this. So I have a Jewish friend, actually, we were talking about okay. Seth and Sam. We have a book. It's been written by God, Torah. Okay. So now, Jesus comes, the Bible comes in. Okay. I'm saying, why we should not, we should leave the book, go to Bible. Okay, good question. Yeah. So the Torah and the original scriptures that were, they were not written by God, but they were revealed by God to okay. Moses, right? Yes. Yes. I don't think Jews even believe that God physically wrote them out, right? Meaning like that, commandment, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they were sent from God. I got that and I agree, inshallah. Salaamu so now those original complete scriptures are no longer with the Jews today. Why? Because they were lost. Any Jewish historian will tell you that the earliest, the biblical, I mean, I'm talking about Old Testament manuscripts that we're looking at, even looking at the Dead Sea Scroll, which has differences from the one that they have in the Old Testament today, it's going to be maybe 200 BC or so on, right? It's not going to be anywhere close to the time of Jesus, right? So, or the, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Meaning it's going to be from around the time of Jesus, not anywhere close to the time of Moses. So those original scriptures of the fall of Babylon and the people of Israel moving and so on, those are lost. Those are lost. And so they're Bible. recreated, they're recreated from stories, from, from, from folk tales and things like this, from what the people remembered. So they have some of that message in it, but it's not like 100% anymore, right? Then you have Jesus as a prophet who showed them miracles, who showed them signs that he brought a new message. And, and they knew that there would be more messengers coming. It's not like they didn't expect it, right? When Jesus brought that message to them, they should have accepted that message. They would have been Muslim, right? Now, Jesus' teachings were taught in the Aramaic language to his followers. His followers accepted his teachings. They were Muslim, Hawariyun, his, his Sahaba. But as we know, that as Christianity developed towards what they called Christianity after Christ, developed towards Europe, they started to change things up, right? They started to add things, they started to write scripture and ascribe it to God, knowing that it wasn't the scripture. It was even, even not even written in the language of Jesus. These writings were in Kone Greek. Hundreds of years later, if you're looking at complete manuscript, we've already had many videos on this, you know, right? Now what happens here is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends the final message, the Qur'an, right? Now those Jews and Christians and everybody else should have seen the miracles of the Prophet sallallahu the splitting of the moon, the water coming from his hand, so many miracles, right? The miracle of the Qur'an itself, a man who couldn't read or write, how could he produce a book like this? You've read the Qur'an, I'm assuming, right? No, I didn't have Oh, khalas. Sure, yeah. You have one? Not all of them have different. You have one today? Yeah. Right? Read the Qur'an, right? And look at even the beauty of the language, especially if you can look at the Arabic, right? What we call balagha, we look at nahu and stuff. Like I studied Arabic language and to understand the rulings of grammar, we would go back to the Quran. Can you imagine a man who couldn't read or write and he would bring a book so well written that till today, when we study the Arabic grammar, we go back to that one book for final rulings. Like if you see, a difference of opinion between Kufin and Basreen, like the different schools of thought in the Arabic language, when they want to solve it, they go to the Quran, right? How could a man who's illiterate in a desert bring forth such a book that none of the poets of the Arabian Peninsula could respond to it, right? That Allah challenged them. Like imagine that, that's amazing, right? So then Christians and Jews seeing the miracles, seeing the signs, as many of them did. Salman al-Farasi is a Persian man. He used to worship fire. Then he went and became Jewish and Christian and went through all these phases. And those rabbis and priests told him the signs about the last prophet. And looking for that last prophet, he came to Medina and he found the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. And seeing all of those signs on him, he accepted Islam, right? So now others, other people who were Jewish, other people who were Christian from the companion of the Prophet they accepted Islam. 
from that time onwards, in the time of Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, Radiyan, till our time, many priests, many rabbis, many uh, ministers, they saw the truth of Islam, they accepted it. So Allah guides them. Right? But many people like, you have a beautiful name, Sam, mashallah, may Allah guide you towards the truth, right? There's other people with the same name. Instead of learning the truth, they just sit there, try to make up lies and make up arguments, right? They worship people, right? They worship uh, even saints and, and others, uh, church fathers and things like this. They worship Jesus. Even though we love Jesus as a prophet, we don't worship him, right? And n none should be worshiped except one God, right? So now, if people know these things, they have these signs, they've seen the videos, they've seen those signs and don't accept it, then they put the punishment on themselves. Allah is merciful, Allah is loving, Allah is a guide. He opens the doors of guidance, right? You don't know me, you watch the videos, you came all the way here. Why? Because Allah has put that in your heart. It makes sense, when you talk, it makes sense. Sam, you're not Muslim yet? You're going to be Muslim today, man, come on.